are optimists. Uh, we think the uh, the government measures when it comes to stimulus, stimulating the economy, and uh, trying to speed up the uh, recovery process, uh, will will show some results in the second half. Uh, we we hope to see uh, trading values and volume uh, picking up to their levels of 2019 or inshallah better. So tell me about this pitch to foreign investors. Why is that going to be important for the future of ADX and for the maturity of this country's capital markets? Uh, the foreign ownership has been historically one of the uh, limiting factors when it comes to attracting uh, investors. Uh, we think uh, opening up the economy and opening up the opportunity and giving the, the opportunity for more investors to be allowed legally to uh, to invest in those companies and in those sectors is, is a good idea. And uh, companies, listed companies, understand the value that comes from fresh money and, and, and investment from abroad into, the, into their uh, equity, which allows them to uh, even go further and, and and raise more funds or uh, deploy more instruments in the market in, in into the market uh, i think it's it's a, a snowball effect more investors will bring in more investors and i guess one of the other major challenges that you face and other regional exchanges face is attracting high quality listed companies to the exchange uh, what are you doing to attract the best companies into the uae and what is the adx's particular point of difference to the world when it comes to attracting these companies? The uh, One of the key uh, things is the UAE has been a solid and stable, uh, as you can call it, a safe haven in, in the region. And this is due to historical reasons, the, the policies, the economic policies, uh, political and uh, social has been have been attractive for, for companies to come and set up in the UAE. Now we need to uh, translate this or convert this into some of those companies being listed in, in, in local exchanges. What we offer in the local exchanges is state-of-art uh, trading and post-trading uh, infrastructure. Uh, I would say a seamless or uh, painless uh, procedures to to uh, to work with the regulators and we do a lot of services on behalf of those uh, companies to allow them to to have uh, I would say uh, an enjoyable ride and, and and being closer to the in investor who are interested this is this is part of our initiatives and in the last I would say 18 months when it comes to transformation is we've looked at every obstacle that uh, uh, investors or, or companies perceive and we're tackling them one by one.